Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Stefano, and I'm from Cabit. We're making the future of cloud storage, and we're doing that with the team, the Italian leading telco. So did you know that what we call cloud actually consumes as much energy as Brazil? Yes, because cloud is centralized. Everyone's file is there, and the data need to pass through the same data center over and over again. Result, this is very expensive. And who gets charged? It's all of us, of course. We pay when we use cloud storage like Dropbox. We pay when we purchase web services for our companies. Think a second. Paying for storing your personal documents isn't fun at all, like it was paying for emails back in the 90s. That's why the free to premium model is still stuck at a 4% conversion rate. We can do better. Cabit is the fourth distributed cloud. We build a no data center because we crowdsource servers directly from our users. Our technology enables the first forever free cloud storage. Yes, you perceive Cabit as a Dropbox that never forces you to pay, but where you remain the only owner of your data, because we don't even know your credentials. How can you get all this? You can try that online, and then to un uh, unlock your uncapped cloud storage, you just need to plug a small server to your home router. Now, you are part of the peer-to-peer -peer network that we call the Swarm. And our business model, uh, model is triggered. We attract new users with free cloud. They grow our distributed data center. And then we use it to monetize by selling corporate web services at cheaper prices. Every month, one single peer costs us just 20 cents to manage, but it can generate the revenues up to $11. This margin is the base of our scalability. And our core technology is ready. I got it on my laptop because our alpha test has been done with 50 developers around Europe, who included us, of course, four co founders. Marco is a full stack developer coding since it was 12. Lorenzo is a data scientist. And business side, Alessandro and I are, uh, have previously created the Startup Day, the most attended event on academic entrepreneurship back in Italy. We have been working two years and raised 150,000 euro. And we are now empowered by three very skilled mentors. We are in partnership with the team, as I said, because we're starting how to embed our software in the million routers they manage. Very importantly, our team could grow up uh, to 19 minds. And all together, this Sunday, at the European Mecca Fair in Rome, we're opening our public beta test. We're here because we're raising uh, 450,000 euro uh, in order to uh, validate our B2C and B2B2C strategies within the next one year. It will be and, a honor uh, to have you on board. Thank you, Stefano. Let's uh, start to move on to the questions yeah, yeah. and discussion. I was done. Thank you very much. I like the impact that you have. Uh, how do you plan to displace the existing players, Dropbox, Box, so on? So the point is, um, they are actually creating the primary demand because Dropbox was set exactly 10 years ago. Dropbox was entering Y Combinator. So cloud storage is pretty new, and they're like, uh, investing a lot of money to make people aware of the cool features of the cloud. So we're intercepting them, and we're starting from Sunday, uh, exactly when they are forced to pay. So when they uh, get close to the cap uh, for Dropbox, for example, with two gigabytes, that's when they feel the pain. And 96% of the people do not want to pay for that price. So what, that's exactly when we're going to offer them the forever free cloud storage. Could you speak a little bit more to how you plan to acquire customers and go to market? The go-to-market, yes. I got a slide for that, a backup slide. So uh, it, as you can see here, we're on the left side, and we're making our first community with the makers, because they already have all the uh, CPU that we need, the Raspberry Pi 3, the same thing that I already got back home. Once we've got two main strategies, as you know, a, a startup is, uh, you know, is looking for the correct business model. We have two big options, a B2C and a B2B2C. B2B2C is already on with team, so we embed our software into devices that we already own. It's not just routers. It can be TV set-up boxes with broadcasters. It can be NAS. It can be smart home gateways. Uh, the B2C is making a plug-in cloud device that uh, the uh, people can, uh, can purchase. 
one important aspect of uh, cloud storage is, of course, stability and, 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 and sort of monitoring, making sure that data is always available continuously. Can you just explain a bit on what the impact is with the, with the distributed setup? So I have uh, some, uh, so this is when you plug your file into the Cabit folder. It's on the folder. What happens, it gets to your Cabit. And first of all, it's encrypted with a key that only you have. So we can't get to your files. Then we split it in four parts, in, uh, uh, sorry, in 24 parts, and we make it redundant in 36 pieces. The cool part is that when we spread the 36 pieces around our network like that, we just need any 24 out of 36 of them to recover the files. This means we have some statistics about it. It's like uh, impossible to lose your files. And in our beta test, we, we, we got statistics. Because uh, all the peers are always on as they are connected to the router. So have you looked into the IPR space? I mean, the, is the patent landscape, have you patented something, or is, is this patented by others, this okay. kind of space? Good question. So we are 100% software. So as you know, software uh, has all the copyright, uh, copyright laws, but you cannot patent, patent software directly. What we can do, there's some options. What we can do, one option would be to make in a plug and cloud device strategy, we can patent the whole thing, making our proprietary hardware. That's exactly what we're going to explore very soon. Maybe speak a little bit to the um, kind of regulatory landscape as well, because obviously with GDPR coming in, data storage is very, very hot right now. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you kind of navigate that world? So we have made uh, legal uh, due diligence, and the result is, is, is super positive. So we have two different kind of uh, one of the reasons why we started from Europe, apart from the fact that we are proudly European, is that the US uh, legislation uh, is pretty different, and the European is, is better for that. That's one of the reasons. So yeah, we took that into account. And yeah. thank you, Stefano. That's thank about the time. All. Have thank a good day. Thank you so much. That was